Since the beginning of the pandemic, WHO has emphasized the vital importance of testing as part of a comprehensive strategy to control COVID-19 transmission. Within two weeks of WHO learning of the first case of the novel coronavirus, China shared the genetic sequences with WHO and the wider world. Working with our partner lab in Germany, Charité University, we then published the first instructions on how to build a validated PCR test for COVID-19. By the third week of January, WHO had contracted the manufacturer of PCR reagents for COVID-19. And by the late January, WHO began shipping PCR tests to over 150 labs around the world, enabling countries to identify and trace the virus. At the same time, we began working with partners to develop simpler, faster tests for use anywhere around the world to diagnose COVID-19. Last week, we reached an important milestone in which WHO issued the first emergency use listing for a quality antigen-based rapid diagnostic test, and we expect other rapid tests to follow. Today, I have good news. I'm pleased to announce that thanks to an agreement between WHO and partners here today and others, a substantial proportion of these rapid tests, 120 million, will be made available to low- and middle-income countries. These tests provide reliable results in approximately 15 to 30 minutes, rather than hours or days at a lower price with less sophisticated equipment. This will enable the expansion of testing, particularly in hard-to-reach areas that do not have lab facilities or enough trained health workers to carry out PCR tests. This is a vital addition to their testing capacity and especially important in areas of high transmission. Volume guarantee agreements have been developed between two manufacturers and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, which will make 120 million of these new highly portable and easy to use rapid diagnostic tests available over a period of six months. Currently, they are priced at a maximum of five US dollars per unit. These are already substantially cheaper than PCR tests, and we expect the price to come down. The quicker COVID-19 can be diagnosed, the quicker action can be taken to treat and isolate those with the virus and trace their contacts. We have an agreement, we have seed funding, and now we need the full amount of funds to buy these tests. Over the weekend, my friend Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, announced new funding for both WHO and COVAX, which is the vaccine's arm of the ACT Accelerator. Together, the world has to raise an additional 35 billion US dollars for the ACT Accelerator. But this represents a great deal for countries in the context of the trillions of dollars they are currently spending on stimulus to keep economies afloat. If we act together, we will win together. To tell us more about today's breakthrough in diagnostics, I will now hand over to my sister, Dr. Katarina Bem, who is the CEO of FIND. Katarina. Today, as the CEO of FIND, but also as the co-convener of the ACT Accelerator Diagnostics Pillar together with the Global Fund. As you've said, today is a major milestone, not just for the ACT Accelerator, but we believe for the global response to COVID-19. Testing is at the forefront of the response. It is our first line of defense, critical for countries to track, trace, and isolate to stop the spread of the virus and to ensure that we are not flying blind. The pandemic has exposed weaknesses in testing in health systems of all countries uh, across the world. In low and middle income countries, however, it's vital that testing levels are dramatically increased. 
with great urgency. There are over 30 partners in the ACT Accelerator Diagnostic Pillar and the package of interventions that we're sharing with you today is testament to the strength and breadth of, the power of our partnership. As Tedros said, um, we are announcing a comprehensive package to make available 120 million affordable, high-quality COVID-19 tests, antigen rapid diagnostic tests in low-middle-income countries. Let me now walk you through the four main components of this package. First of all, innovative new tests. Following the WHO policy guidance on antigen RDTs on the 11th of September, we now have two high-quality tests, which are the first in a series that are being developed and assessed by WHO for emergency use listing. These tests provide reliable results in just 15 minutes rather than hours or days and will enable expansion of testing, particularly in countries that do not have extensive laboratory capacity um, or trained health workers to implement molecular or PCR-based tests. So these antigen rapid diagnostic tests are a critical complement to these molecular and lab-based tools. Second, volume guarantees. Agreements have been signed between the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and two rapid diagnostic tests producers, Abbott and SD Biosensor, um, to make 120 million tests available at five US dollars for low middle income countries over a period of six months. Um, a, a 50 million US dollar procurement fund is the third component of the package of the package, um, and that will enable to rapidly scale up these tests. The Global Fund has committed to an initial 50 million US dollars from its COVID-19 response mechanism to enable countries to procure at least 10 million tests. The first orders are expected already to be placed this week. And last, not least, the fourth component, an implementation research and rollout um, component. Together with WHO, we at FIND are working to understand how these tests will best be used in countries and how they optimally fit into health systems. We'll provide catalytic volumes of tests um, to enable countries to conduct implementation research. Unit Aid and Africa CDC will be rolling out these tests in up to 20 countries in Africa starting in October. Their work is being supported by organizations including CHAI, the Clinton Health Access Initiative, the African Society for Lab Laboratory Medicine, ASLM, uh, and local organizations. This complements the African Union's partnership to accelerate COVID-19 testing, PACT initiative. So this comprehensive end-to-end -end package of interventions has been put together with a speed that none of us here today have ever seen before. And it's really a testament uh, to the power of the partnership. With this package, and thanks to financial support of several countries, the ACT Accelerator partners have sec secured much needed tools for low middle income countries to dramatically increase COVID-19 testing. However, as Dr. Tetra said, and while we've made great progress, challenges of course remain to reach all those who need testing and to, to bring test prices down, we urgently need to fill substantial funding gaps um, that remain. Today, the ACT Accelerator Diagnostic Partnership still needs 1.7 million billion before the end of the year to deliver what is needed to ensure everyone who needs a test gets one. Thank you.